Okay, let's try to uh, subtract decimals. Quite often you'll have a currency or money that you will need to subtract when you uh, purchase something. So this is a fairly simple um, subtraction right here. If we look at this, all we're going to do is line up the columns just like this. So the first thing all we're going to do is on this first one we're going to say 8 minus 4 and we know that's going to be 4 and then this is going to be 2 minus 1 that's 1 and this is going to be 6 minus 2 that's going to be 4 so that's pretty simple then you're going to take the decimal point and you're just going to move it straight down here and it's going to be four dollars and fourteen cents I put my dollar sign right here now let's take a little bit more difficult um, approach here and we have let's say we have this time we have six dollars and twenty two cents and then we have we're going to subtract we've purchased something for two dollars and thirty four cents so now we have a different problem here we can't subtract four from two right so we have to borrow so what we do is this column right here is if we if we just took away this two right here it would be twenty cents right six dollars and twenty cents but we know we have two cents over here and we're trying to subtract four so we're gonna have to borrow so we're gonna take one from this I'm gonna cross this out we're gonna take one one's gonna be left and we're gonna take the other one and we're going to add it here. So I'm taking 10 actually and I'm moving it to the 2. So now I have 12. So did you see how that worked? I took 10 from here. So if I took 10 from right here and then I added it plus the existing 2 equals 12. So now 12 minus 4 I can do. That's 8, right? But now look at that. I can't subtract 3 from 1. So I have to do the same thing over here. So I'm going to take a dollar off of this one. I'm going to say, nope, I'm going to take this, and I'm going to make that $5 because I'm going to take $1 away. And I'm going to put it over here, and we're going to say we're going to have basically a dollar and 10 cents, but we're just going to look at it as an 11 in this column. Okay, so did you see how we did that? It's just $1, bring it over here to borrow. So now 11 minus 3 we know is also... 8, correct? So now we take our decimal point again, we shoot it down here, straight down. So we got 88 cents going, but then we have 5 minus 2. So then we have 3. So basically we've spent $2.34 from our original $6.22, and that leaves us with $3.88.